everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl Emmanuel coming back to you guys with another video and in today's video I'll be showing you guys my initial thoughts on the baby airs collection and if you guys haven't already please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification button so that you can get notified when I post another video so let's get to it I want to keep this video short and sweet so in my head I have two bundles of 20 inches um, I also have a 7x7 HD lace closure and this thing goes so far behind I want to show you guys how far behind it goes because this is where I stop my part but this is where the closure actually ends right here at like if you guys can see that i love the texture of this hair the hair feels super soft it doesn't shed in terms of the wefted hair but the closure i do feel like it does shed a bit um once again this is a seven by seven closure i did a side part so i can put this behind my ear and the closure actually stops right here so it starts from here to here that's seven by seven and if you guys don't know frontal frontal will go ear to ear but i just feel like that's a lot of work and i honestly don't see myself buying another seven by seven closure i feel like i'm gonna end up either doing five by five or six by six because i found it very very difficult to lay this closure on my canvas head and sew it in because it kept giving me like a lumpy feeling to it so i will show you guys a little bit of that like i was struggling so much trying to get this wig together either way it did turn out really i mean it turned out okay um i am still learning how to do the closure because the first day i did this hair i did love it i didn't have any issues with how i laid my hair i did use the got to be glue spray and it looked great and i also used this mousse to lay down my flyaways and honestly in this closure there are not a lot of flyaways day two because i removed it actually day three day three i removed the actual lace and when I reinstalled it, it just didn't look the same way as it did the first time I installed it. So that is also something I'm gonna have to work on is trying to reapply this wig. And even the time it takes to do this, I don't understand how people have the time. I'm already thinking about getting me some crochets because I just don't have time for this. And going back to school soon, I just don't see myself waking up early in the morning, trying to spray down my edges, trying to lay down my straight hair. Like, it just seems like a lot of work that I am not really invested in. You know, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> so I did install this on a dome cap. The dome cap is so huge. This is actually a wig and it's so big on me and that's the only thing I hate about this install. Not the hair, not the closure, not the lace, none of that. It's the fact that this wig is so big and I just don't know how to construct it correctly. And I found it really difficult to lay this closure because when you're laying the closure, you're going to find yourself having issues with it laying flat. So I went on Erica J's videos to kind of get an idea of how to lay it down, but she didn't really show that. I think she pretty much shows you how to lay down a six by six closure, but on her video for the seven by seven, she pretty much showed um, her like sewing in the closure, but not exactly like how far ahead should the lace be in comparison to the actual head or the canvas or the actual stocking cap. So I found it really hard for me to gauge how to go about um, installing this. So guys, that is pretty much it. If you guys do want to update on this hair in terms of like in a month from now or two months from now, please let me know so that I can give you a proper, you know, review on this hair. I do feel like this is the type of hair that would last me a while. I am already thinking about the hair that I want to do in terms of my graduation, but I'm not very sure because I don't want to do long hair and I was going to think about doing long hair, but I'll see how that goes and uh, that is pretty much it guys i will be inserting some pictures in this video and i hope you guys enjoy like i said in the beginning of the video please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and leave some comments below and hit that post notification so you get notified when i post a new video my email will be below in the description bar if you guys have anything you want to talk about personally and you don't want to leave in the comments go ahead and do that and i will see you guys in my next video have a great one bye